Anderson. I'm an underwater portrait instructor. I am an ambassador for Outex and I also use it myself. And I get a lot of questions from my students about how to use Outex and what are the advantages and disadvantages. So I wanted to take an opportunity to talk with the co-founder of Outex today, JR, and get some questions answered. I'm looking forward to it. Let's get into it. All right, let's do it. So I was looking to do an underwater workshop for people just starting out and I wanted to give them an option for housing that wasn't thousands of dollars, something that was like an introductory housing but was also safe and um, you know secure for their camera. And on one end of the spectrum, as you've mentioned, there are hard cases that are usually very good for specific uses like diving or surfing, etc. And on the other end of the spectrum, there are products like what I call bags yeah. that are very inexpensive, but not at all professional. Mm -hmm. And we came up with Altex in essence to try to combine the best of both worlds. All of our ports, whether you're using flat ports or dome ports, use optical glass not acrylic so that you know that performance wise uh, it's second to none mm. uh, at the same time because the housing is malleable and flexible it allows full control and functional operation of all of your settings and you can even change settings on the fly and you can even access buttons that are behind the screen so we've designed the rear glass to be positioned far enough away that you can still get visibility of both, yeah. but that also your fingers can access functionality behind the glass. It is nearly universal, so mm -hmm. it, you, it works for any camera that you have. But then in the front, we have exchangeable ports. We have flat ports that work in a way like filters in that they match the lenses filter thread size mm -hmm. and we make all of the industry standard sizes it's also very modular and by that i mean that not only can you use everything from film cameras mm -hmm. dslrs mirrorless we have a lot of customers using medium format we have mm -hmm. people using phase one red digital yeah. cinema so there's a couple of different size housings, right. but those housings, those covers we make fit a number of different cameras and a number of different lenses, whether they have uh, zoom mm -hmm. in and out, mm -hmm. or whether they are larger or smaller, or even for lenses that have a hood or are fisheye, mm -hmm. you can use the domes right. so that it's a very modular design. We also have lenses that accommodate flash, housing, tripod, and we even accommodate tethering. Okay. So you can tether underwater. And so we have a very modular system that grows with your needs. Mm -hmm. So if you have very basic needs, right. that's fine. But if you have a pretty sophisticated need or a use case that requires lighting, tripod mounting, tethering, or you know, uh, connecting to other devices, laptops or batteries, if you're doing a time lapse, yeah. It can accommodate all of those things. Yeah. And also for transport, it comes yeah. in pretty handy. Most of the components uh, not only not add any weight or uh, size to the camera you already have, but they can compress pretty compact into a carrying case that you may already have. All right, why do we have domes? What are advantages, disadvantages of using domes over a flat port? Underwater, objects appear magnified and closer than on air. The domes are designed to correct a lot of the aberrations that happen underwater. You can do most things underwater with a flat port, but especially for shapes that we're very familiar with, like the human body, you know, the domes become more important because if things start looking deformed, the naked eye will easily identify. Right. And so the domes can really help with that. We make two different size domes. We have a 120 millimeter diameter dome, okay. which is right here. And we have a 180 dome. So optically, the larger dome is better because it's going to correct more of those things 
more often. The other thing that is prob can be problematic is split level photography, where maybe half the frame is above water and half the frame is below water. That's where things can really become visible. The dome is going to help alleviate a lot of those things and even for split level photography, things will look a lot more natural and will look a lot better more often. What if I have more questions? Um, you know, technical questions or something that we didn't cover here, where do I go, how do I find out? The internet is great for all of those things, so you can of course always search online. Outtex.com, O-U-T-E-X.com is also a great resource because as you can imagine, we get a lot of those questions. We have a questions page with frequently asked questions. We have an installation page where you can see videos and mm. comparisons side by side. Right. So Altex.com is a great resource. And we also have an automated online store. Uh, we, we sell worldwide from our website. Okay. We've been in business since 2010. And you can select the shipping method that you would like. We also help guide you based on your needs if you don't know the size clamp you need or you know what size filter, you can get into the questions page, get some guided assistance, and then proceed with the uh, checkout from there. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed uh, chatting with you. Thanks so much for coming. And uh, yeah, it's been fun. Yeah, it's been fun. And I hope you guys learned some things about Outtex and uh, ready to get started shooting underwater.